Hey guys, so for today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a look at the little shrimp tank that we set up a while back. So let's dive right into the video. So here is the tank five months after we set it up. If you didn't see that video, I highly recommend you go watch it. In that video, we used some aquarium plant seeds, which I got off of Amazon like three years ago. And it was kind of an experiment tank. I didn't really know if it'd work or not. And it actually ended up working. As you can see, the plants are still alive, but the plants definitely do look a little overgrown. I definitely need to trim them. I'm not gonna be doing that in today's video because once I trim them, the tank is gonna look really ugly and I don't want you guys to have to look at that. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go and scrape off some of the algae on the glass and take out all of this duckweed that's on top. So let's get this tank cleaned up. One water change later and the tank is looking awesome. You can actually see inside the tank, which you weren't able to do with all of that algae on the glass. And there's actually light getting through to the tank because I took out a majority of the duckweed as well. So the little plants that I use, these are actually terrestrial plants. I got them off of Amazon like three years ago. They're advertised as aquarium seeds, but they are not. They're a terrestrial plant and there's definitely a lot of mixed reviews on them. I think I got lucky and got a variety that adapts well to water. If you do want to get some of these seeds, it's kind of a gamble because you don't know if they're going to do super well in the water since there are so many varieties. The only reason mine are doing so well, I think, is because I trim them every month. Before I set this tank up, I did kind of have a plan B for this tank because I expected most of these plants to die off or at least grow up really big like that one. My original plan was to have all of these plants pretty much just die off and replace it with some of this java moss that I have here in my other five gallon aquarium. And I was really planning on doing that, but, but I don't think there's any need to disturb this tank right now since it's doing so well. But when I first set this tank up, I had quite a bit of shrimp in here and I ended up moving them to this five gallon tank over here. And there's a shrimp right there and they have bred like crazy. Here's another one by the glass. To my surprise, like I said, they bred like crazy. So that was a nice little surprise. Moving back over to this tank. So obviously in this tank, we have some little tiny Neocaridina shrimp in here. I also have quite a few snails in here. There's definitely more snails than shrimp in here. There's some bladder snails right there. And there's also some ram's horn snails in here as well. The shrimp population in this tank has stayed relatively stable since I took a lot of them out and put them in a five gallon tank. About every few weeks, I do see some tiny baby shrimp swimming around in here. And what I do to feed this tank is I just give it some flake food, which I do with all my tanks to be honest. Just give it some flake food, which they don't seem to mind at all. And I do a 50% water change every week. So that pretty much summarizes the tank up right there. Not a lot has happened also i forgot to mention that the light that i use from the marine land portrait aquarium also if you haven't seen that video i highly recommend you watch it but the light from that video has been working really well obviously is growing plants but like i said this tank is doing awesome that's gonna do it for this one i hope you guys enjoyed if you want to see more fish tank related content go ahead and subscribe and if you want to see even more fish tank related content you can give me a follow on instagram at barry's aquarium and with that i'll see you guys on the next video